Hello. I pray that you're well today. I read to you from Romans chapter 5. Therefore, since we've been justified through faith, therefore, because we are right with God through faith in Jesus, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Because of faith, you and I have peace, through whom we've gained access by faith into this grace in which we now stand. It also says, you and I, because of Jesus, are standing in grace. It is all around us. And we boast in the hope of the glory of God. And we boast in the hope of the glory of God. We boast in the hope of the glory of God. That you and I are those who can have confidence in God's glory. Not only so, we also glory in our sufferings. We also glory in our sufferings because we know that suffering produces perseverance. Perseverance, character, and character, hope. And hope does not put us to shame because God's love has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit whom he's given us. These are strong words, powerful words, true words. You and I have peace with God through Jesus we are standing in grace, it is all around us. Are, are you forgiven? You are standing in grace because of Christ. And we boast in the hope of the glory of God. We also boast in our sufferings. When's the last time you said, I thank you God for the trouble I'm in today. I thank you God for the difficulty I have right now. I thank you God for you are the one who suffering produces perseverance, meaning it's going to stick around longer. Don't you just like to be done with it? Have you ever had a, a thorn in your finger or a splinter, a cut? You want to pull it out or you want it to heal. You want to be completed with it. You want the irritation to go away. But God says we know that suffering produces perseverance. Perseverance is to stand up under suffering longer. And perseverance character. Character is who you are when no one else is watching you that you do the right thing, even when other people won't even be able to tell. And character produces hope. Hope is the confident expectation that God has acted and will act. And hope does not put us to shame because God's love is important to our hearts of the Holy Spirit whom he's given us. Think about this for a moment. Are you hopeful? You're not really gonna be hopeful unless there's suffering and perseverance and character. Hope does not just free float over the top of us. It's hope through something, hope in the midst of something, hope because of something, hope because of what you and I are carrying. Today, today we're giving out food here at Christ Church. Thank you for your generosity in this place. Thank you for giving your gleanings clothes and the things in your home that are now are passed on we have been able to give your generous gifts to many people in this community. And for that, we thank you. They thank you. Because I just gave away some furniture to somebody just two days ago. And you know the answer to this person? They said, this is a game changer for our family. They have seven kids. This is a game changer. Thank you for changing that for people's lives. Let's pray. Dear God, we thank you for your mercy and your love and your grace in our lives. We pray for you to bless us and strengthen us and give us precisely what we need. We pray for your help. We pray for those who are struggling. We pray for young people in particular and pray for the hope that we might live in hope, that we might stand in hope, that we as we stand in grace and have your peace. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. I pray God's grace to be upon you I pray that he may give you a confidence of his peace and his grace. God bless you.